the Franciscan sisters from Colorado Springs, Colorado, must have heard, heard Jesus' call, let the children come to me, when they decided to establish St. Joseph's School in 1922 in the vast territory that included San Fidel. The same call was heard in 1952 when the Ursulines came, let the little children come to me. Those who are expending the effort to keep the school open probably hear the same call today. We are glad to have the opportunity to speak about the school. The student population of St. Joseph's School, San Fidel, consisted of boys and girls from the Acoma Reservation and its villages, the Laguna Reservation and its villages, the Hispanic community of Cabero, and the Zoller family from Grants, New Mexico. After Vatican II, the student population became more diverse as industries moved into the area. These parents wanted a school near their home. That school had to have a good reputation plus a strong curriculum. Soon they found out and heard about St. Joseph's School with a strong reputation and a expanding curriculum. What a gift this was to these parents. St. Joseph's School was always, the purpose of the school was always the children. It was a fully accredited Catholic school followed by the policies, it followed the policies and directives of the State Department of New Mexico, State Education Department, and uh, Diocesan Office of Education. Because it was a Catholic school, the teaching of religion and the uh, good behavior was always the first priority. In the realm of language arts, emphasis was placed on reading, spelling, writing, and sometimes the speaking skills, math, science, social studies were part of the curriculum also. In the area of the performing arts, children like to perform. So periodically there were praise, speeches, and recitations, and the children would like to complete, compete in those areas. One big performance was always the Christmas play. The entire student body took part in the Christmas play. Teachers, students, and parents, because sometimes the parents would come and help us with the music and the other uh, props for the play. On the night of the big performance, there was always a feeling of anxiety, excitement, and laughter and fun. The students were anxious, the teachers were nervous, and the parents seated were smiling happily, hoping that waiting for the big act to begin. The curriculum as you as was quite varied with the ceaseless efforts of the all involved. So we are so happy that that we have the occasion to talk about St. Joseph's School. Of all the different schools where I've taught, San Fidel was outstanding in my estimation in these five things. Number one, that the parents were very interested in how their children were learning. Number two, they were very appreciative of the sisters' presence there. Three, and were very supportive of learning activities and the whole school program. Number four, um, as a result of the parents' support and interest, 
the children were highly motivated to learn and do well. And five, I loved also the off-road location and the view of Big Sky. Teaching at San Fidel was a joy. When I arrived at San Fidel School, I was instantly in love with it, because even because of its uh, isolated location. Because I was back in New Mexico, where I was from. As the years passed from 1977 to 1983, changes began to happen. And, um, and the school needed to be expanded. The Franciscan priests and brothers saw the need to be near their parishioners on the Acoma Reservation and decided to move. They gave the house that they lived in over to the sisters so that we could expand the school. Uh, the priests and relatives helped the sisters to prepare for the move and, um, and, and ex the expanding of the school. With the move was when the move, with the move being completed, and the expansion was done, the growth of the school continued, but more funding was necessary. Field days, walkathons, seasonal dramas, the people's generosity, etc., helped the school to succeed and thrive. God and our Blessed Mother, with the parents and friends, continue to help the students to be successful and joyful. Beautiful and generous people, parents and schools made my day a lot my days alive and wonderful my days alive, wonderful and memorable at St. Joseph School, San Fidel. Hello. I served St. Joseph School from nineteen eighty three to 1989 as principal and part-time teacher. St. Joseph School was a faith-based school providing great educational experiences for students. The school was a melting pot of beautiful and unique cultures that painted a gorgeous mural of unity for all to see. There were a mixture of cultures, Acoma, Laguna, Navajo, Apache, Arapaho, Hispanics, and Caucasians which added rich flavors to the school during my years. <clears throat> a kindergarten was established and muchly appreciated during my time and the enrollment increased overall. The school competed in speech and spelling contests with other government schools in the area. Easily, we were the best. Coming home with all the top honors, including the all around trophy for three or four years straight. Plays performed at Christmas time brought families and friends together, unifying the mixed cultures. The liturgies were uplifting and enhanced by addition of Native American Hispanic culture through dancing, music, language. One of my most memorable liturgies was in honor of Bishop Palat. It was an amazing celebration by far. Even the bishop was very touched by the ceremony. The staff was amazing and truly dedicated to the school and quality of education and Christian formation. I had some of the best. Sisters Charles Marie, Mary Henry, Joseph Adrian, Cecilia Joseph, CJ, and Miss Rita Lopez. What an experienced group of teachers. Overall, I was enriched and proud to have served at St. Joseph School. I was especially thankful for the support of families and the PSA for their undying assistance with the school. We could not have done what we did best without their help. Thank you for allowing me to serve in your school. It was a perfectly wonderful adventure, one that I hold dear to my heart. God bless you all and Godspeed. I taught the sixth grade at the St. Joseph School from 1986 to 1991, and also did a bit of uh, guitar music for the uh, masses. I think I'm the last speaker, but I don't know that necessarily means they say the best till last. I know some questions were presented uh, to us for discussion, and I hope that the other sisters who have answered those questions. Um, 
we all congratulate you on the good work that you you're doing have done i went to your website and uh, saw uh, how amazing um, everything is going there not only are you uh, instructing the students in the uh, basic uh, three r's of reading writing and arithmetic but you're also uh, providing a foundation in such values as the culture environment and service and of course, undergirding, supporting all of this and permeating and really surrounding all of this are the gospel values from the Catholic uh, tradition, Catholic uh, faith. Um, and um, there wouldn't be any point in having a Catholic school if you didn't do that, uh, support the uh, Catholic uh, gospel values. And I liked how you uh, blend the uh, native traditions with the uh, Catholic uh, practices. Um, I think it was uh, Principal Trujillo who said you do a lot of praying and that's about the best support that you can have and, and the, the best uh, education and, and uh, learning that you can have to become uh, productive citizens and uh, people of integrity. So uh, good luck on your fundraiser. We pray for its success. Uh, I know it isn't easy to keep a small Catholic school going, but I think all your hard work and efforts are making it a stronger school. And uh, who knows, maybe one of these days we'll be learning about a student from St. Joseph becoming governor of the state or maybe even president of the United States. So good luck. God bless. Keep up your good work.